so much for all the support that you've given to the Word of God, over 3.1 views, messages upon messages, and the Word of the Lord is being spread all over, and that's a blessing. Again, I will not do this regularly as I won't speak unless God tells me to speak, but I do have something to share with you. My roommate and I were talking about um, people who are flawed or people who are broken so much that they feel they can't be used. I know I'm broken and the Lord uses me daily. And it's just a mindset of renewing. And we stumbled upon 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. And I'm reading from the New International Version. And I read, For God who said, Let light shine out of the darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Verse 7. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Amen. And we concluded that though we are broken, we can still be used. Now, Bible makes us understand that we are jars of clay. Each one of us, we are a jar of clay. And contained in us is light. Now think about it. If you have a pot and your pot has a light inside of it, when you cover it, you cannot see the light. But the minute it's cracked anywhere around that pot, you can see the light shine through it. Now I hope you caught the revelation there. That when we are broken, when we are broken, when we are pressed on each side, when we feel as if we can't make it, that is when the Lord uses us to minister onto other people. People look at the way you handle attack. People like to see how you're doing so maybe they can draw strength from it. Weak people who, who may not know the Lord will find some type of ministry in your situation because of your strength. And so I just want us to you know, rejoice in our weaknesses, rejoice in our flaws. Many people are walking around here sad and miserable, but little do you know that your, your breakthrough, it comes through your testimony. Be bold, speak the word, be able to encourage others about your situation. You know, I always say that if the Lord, if the devil knew that killing Jesus would bring about salvation, he would have never killed him. So therefore, every time the devil brings about a situation in your life that, you know, you should be crying or you should be depressed or you should commit suicide, anytime he brings about that problem, it's up to you to give him another reaction. Don't give him that sad reaction. Give him a praise. Give him a shout. Give him a joy. Tell him that you are not defeated. He cannot defeat you. Listen, our hearts have light in it and the only way that the light can penetrate through us is when we're broken you know i find joy in the moments that i'm broken and i know that may sound a bit too religious for some people but i'm telling you in my darkest moments is when i find christ and i'm able to stand and when i give a testimony i know people are saved by it it's not by my words but it's by the strength that the lord has given to us so we need to be able to stand stand firm Know that you are a cracked pot. Let's call ourselves that if you want. You know, broken. And the only way the light can shine through is that. I, I know of a young man who has tattoos all over his body. And his mom was very much upset that why would he get such a tattoo? And I remember just explaining to her like, one day when he stands on the pulpit to preach to young boys, and they're like, oh, this man been perfect all his life. He hasn't been through anything. And he bears the mark of Christ on his body. Those tattoos, the, those tattoos are representation of who he used to be and what he is now. And so we need to rejoice in our weakness in that you're able to speak to a certain population. I'm now able to speak to young girls whose father died at an early age. You may be able to speak to barren women. You may be able to speak to young boys who were at the age of 33 who didn't know where they were going in life and they thought it was too late. We have to use our weakness as ministry. Don't allow the devil to defeat you so easily. It's not fair to you 
to get defeated so easily when God, when Jesus died on the cross for you and I. So we can have this freedom. So I can stand here boldly and declare the word of God and it should go around the world. That's the kind of victory we have. So if you know you're going through a situation, you're failing school, pray. You do your part in studying. You got to study. And then when you pass it, you're able to minister to the younger ones who's after you. You know that you're, you didn't get married till 35. Now you have a testimony for the 28-year-olds who feel as if it's too late. You're a young man, about 33 years old. You feel as if you don't have anything to show for it. But now you're able to stand. You can now give advice to younger people. That's ministry. That is ministry. Everything we go through in life is ministry. Everything, every broken heartedness that you went through with a man or a woman, that's ministry. You can stand up there and tell somebody, I was broken hearted, but now look, I have this wonderful husband. I have this wonderful wife. That's what God wants us to do. He wants us to spread the word. He wants us to spread his goodness. I'm telling you, there's so much power in this Bible. So rejoice in being broke sometimes. Pray about it, but rejoice. Rejoice in being single until it's time. Rejoice if you ain't got a man, if you ain't got a woman. Rejoice. I'm telling you, it sounds a bit too religious, but rejoice in it. Because I'm telling you, a day is coming when God is going to redeem you. He's going to make all things beautiful at his time. And you just want to shout. But right now, we're trying to defeat the enemy by the word of our testimony. By the word of our testimony. So today, the message I want to deliver to everyone is, though we are broken, the light shines even better through those who are broken. That's why I can't tolerate self-righteous people. Because they haven't been broken yet. But when I know somebody who's been through the struggle, you can minister unto me because I see your scar wounds. So today, let's just stand firm. And I pray you read 2 Corinthians chapter 4. You know, read it for yourself. Allow God to minister to you. Catch your own revelation. This thing right here is our weapon. A Bible that's falling apart usually belongs to somebody who, who's got it somewhat together. So let's, let's just make sure this is our best friend. Before we go anywhere, open. Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. Thank you. And rejoice in your brokenness and your singleness. Rejoice, okay?